We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? An adequate job, pilot. Perhaps here there is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. There are signs of life on the surface. Beasts by the dozen. So don't worry, you won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. You might want to keep your, uh, lightsaber sharp. Or do whatever you do in these situations. Although, I think that the pilot's mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few and they are hidden. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. You should go to the ruins of the old academy. If there are any traces here of Sith, that is where they would be. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. This was the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. 
His skill was considered remarkable even in his time when many true lightsaber masters lived. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. Ahead lies the tomb of Naga Sadao successor to Marco Ragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. <laughs> Hisses are enough to humble even an arrogant one such as you. Test yourself if you must but try not to die. great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos's successor. This way leads to the tomb of Ajanta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, 
leading to his demise. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan sent Ajanta Paul's spirit into oblivion and claimed the blade for himself. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress. Now the excavation has been almost... Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation and bring about the termination of hostilities. <laughs>
There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the academy before venturing into the cave. Looks like somebody left the doors of the Academy wide open. I have a bad feeling about this. You can expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared.
here. Find her.
I'll bet even the Ebonhawk couldn't blast through this door.
So this is who we came here to find? Looks like this has been a big, dangerous waste of time. Answers. There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. I have studied you, immersed myself in you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war. You know battle. And I know of Malachor. You know what it means to be broken. The one who travels with you will destroy you, as she did me. I can end it before it begins. She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. She is a fool who escaped death once. She will not do so again. You are a wretched thing, a thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master, and that is why you will die. <laughs>
you. I am. You. And that is why you will die. <laughs> That is why you will die. <laughs> And that is why you will die. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sion. He cannot be defeated. He is not a beast of flesh and blood. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. There will be another time, but it is not now, not here, while Korriban runs through him. Do not harm her. I command it. She has earned this. She and I will meet again. Thank you. 
Let's <laughs> go.